if they can move forward, which I'm sure they will in a hurry. I'm thinking they'll be leading here in a lap or two. Yeah, last year we saw Tony Stewart work with Danica, and they did a great job getting to the front. I think that that's where Danica got a lot of her experience in this style of racing was from Tony. Trevor Bain outside for the lead in the 60. Green and white car. Elliot Sadler still locked on his rear bumper. What a great combination of tandem and pack racing that we're seeing here. Yeah, really, you see Kurt Busch, basically with no partner, able to stay right in the thick of it for the lead. He's right there behind Elliot Sadler in the two. 25 cars in that lead pack. Kurt Busch in the one had planned to run with his brother Kyle in that 54, but right now they're nowhere near each other. Kyle's back in 31st place. That's David Reagan in the 27. He's working with Reagan had to drop to the rear of the field on the pace laps for missing the driver's meeting. Well, you don't want to miss the first one. Now, of course, Reagan, uh, most recent winner in the Sprint Cup Series here, uh, back last July, getting his first victory. Time to make a switch there. See if they can get hooked back up. Yeah, that was pretty seamless right there. Nice. And to the outside for the race lead, Sam Hortis Jr. pushed by Brad Kislowski. Little Penske power there working together. Yeah, we expected this to be a pretty potent combination when these two drivers were able to finally get hooked up. They've made it happen now, and you can see them stressing it out. I think he's got a fast car in that group. Mike Bliss, that 44 car, he's digging on the outside. And this race has been drafted. They told him Talladega always gives some of the underdogs a chance to run up front and have a good result. And listen, that 44 had a great qualifying effort. That's Joe Nemechek in the black 87, second car in the outside lane, who is pushing Bliss in the draft now. Another very experienced driver at Daytona, underfunded compared to some of the powerhouse teams, but doing a lot with a little. Kenny Wallace, you see up there in the mix of this, too. And I'll bring up Michael Annette again. This team at Richard Petty Motorsports, this nationwide team was just put together. They didn't have a lot of time to make this happen, but performing very well. What happened there with Junior and Kurt Busch? Looks like they needed to swap. And uh, looks like they got split apart. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm like you, Dale. I'm seeing a big mixture of pack racing and tandem racing. I think it's about the best combination. Yeah, and it's not necessarily, you know, who they plan to get hooked up with. They're just looking for somebody to get on their bumper or find a bumper to get attached to. Austin Dillon driving for Richard Childress Racing in that three car just uh, before the start of the race, getting some instructions about what to do in this tandem draft. Hey, Austin, when, when you're tandem here as the leader, you say everything you're thinking. If you catch a pack and you want to back off, you know, say check up, check up. You want to go to the right, then we're going to the top. If you want to go to the bottom, then we're going to the bottom. Just say that, and that way, that'll be relaying the whole time. You know what I mean? Brett will be hearing that. Elliot will be hearing it. So just think, say what you're thinking, okay? Yeah, the spotters and drivers can't be uh, cross-talking to other teams, but they can. The spotters can wear a scanner. They'll hear when, when Austin says that he's doing something the spotter for Elliot Sadler. Somebody will hear that, and they can relay it to the driver uh, through the spotter. You can see that Austin wasn't letting off the throttle any at all, but was getting bypassed by a lot of cars. <laughs> Sam Hornish Jr., Indy 500 winner, out in front. Brad Keselowski, former champion of this series, running second. Third place, closely contested, is Mike Bliss in the 44, Joe Nemechek in the 87. And to their outside, Michael Lynette in the Richard Petty Motorsports 43, and Kurt Busch in the one. You know, we've made a lot of, uh, we've talked a lot about the cooling system, how they change that to kind of break apart these tandems. But I think the, the communication part of this, of not letting the teams communicate with other teams, uh, drivers can, uh, communicate with drivers, I think that has really helped more than anything. That's why we've seen so many pairs. When they finish this lap, we will already be 50 miles into the 300 that composed today's event for the NASCAR Nationwide Series at Daytona.